Today I am here at Kim's Pianos in Tustin, California with a very beautiful piano. This is a Bersendorfer and I absolutely love this brand of pianos. They have such a unique appearance, they have such a unique sound, and they're almost always a dream to play. This one here is no exception. What makes this special is that this is actually a very old Bösendorfer that has been restored lovingly by this wonderful restoration company from Europe. Now what's even cooler is that when I was at the 2020 NAMM show, I was walking around the piano floor and I came across the very people that restored this piano, which was Meyer Restoration Company. And what's incredible is that they actually invited me to Europe to come tour their facility where they restore these pianos. They've also invited me to their distribution area in, I believe it's Philadelphia, which is of course in the States, and I will do that as well. But it's amazing that they've invited me out to Europe, and while I am in Europe, I will be visiting many of the world's top uh, piano manufacturers that can be found uh, in Europe, which is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm not going to be able to cover every single one because there are going to be a number that I simply don't have a relationship with. I'm only going to have a certain amount of time to be able to do it. So while I'd love to visit, like for example, Fazioli, I'm not sure that's going to be happening. And there's also others that I don't have a good relationship with at all, like Steinway. I can't even record videos in their stores, so why would they let me record a video in their factory? Regardless though, I will be visiting Meyer in Europe and that's going to be an absolutely fantastic video. But before I do that, today I'm going to be reviewing this piano that they rebuilt. It's absolutely fantastic. It has a beautiful, warm, mellow tone like so many of their pianos do, and I'm going to be playing it and reviewing it for you guys today. So what I think I'll play first is my original test piece that I used to test out the treble range and the mid-range of pianos, and then I'll go from there and just play really whatever I think sounds best on this piano. As you can hear, this piano has a very, very warm, soft, gentle, cottony tone. It has very, very soft hammers on the piano because they are brand new, just like virtually everything about the piano. One thing, though, that's kind of cool and that Meyer never ever replaces in their rebuilds is the soundboard. So the soundboard is original, but virtually everything else has been replaced. I'm not sure about the pin block, but the harp has definitely been re-sprayed. The bass strings are new, the treble strings are new, uh, the tuning pins are new, the dampers are new, the hammers are new, but I think the action also is original because it feels a little bit different from a modern Bösendorfer wood or really any modern piano. I believe that during some parts of uh, of, of Bösendorfer's history, they were using a different action than they would use today, I believe, and if it wasn't a different action, like Renner, it was certainly a different geometry, because it has a bit of a different kind of a, sh uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it just feels a little bit different than a modern piano would. Not saying that it's bad, it just feels different. <laughs> Thank you. 
This piano really sounds good to me when I'm playing like low chords in the bass and then higher treble notes in, of course, the treble. So perhaps something like this would sound good on it. It has a really pure, beautiful sound that, of course, we all associate with Bursendorfer. That treble sound is really, really lovely. And the bass and then the piano is wonderful as well. What makes this action feel different about a modern piano? Again, it's really hard to place. I think it's just, it's, it's light, but I just think it's balanced differently than you might find in a modern Renner, like in a brand new Bursendorfer. It just has a different weight to it. Still feels really good. Still gives me a lot of dynamic control mm -hmm. from playing pianissimo to playing fortissimo, but it just has a different feel. It has like a ghostly kind of a sound to it, which is a word I've never used to describe the treble on a piano, but that's what I think really fits well on it. Another little chord progression I think works well in this piano is one that actually uh, somebody who works here at Kim's Pianos actually came up with. This is just a small little sample of one of his pieces, but Steve Rivera, who works here at Kim's Pianos, actually composes a lot of his, uh, of his own music, which goes to show that not only does Kim's Pianos employ piano enthusiasts, but also true musicians. He was showing me that earlier today and I just thought it was so beautiful and it sounds so rich and warm on this piano. Really, really lovely. I love the tone especially of, the, of this particular piano right in this range. My two favorite ranges of this piano are right in here, which is a range I find often I like on pianos, right in here and also right up in here. I'm not saying that this region is bad or that this region is bad, but those two zones are my favorite areas of the instrument to play. Now, there are a couple of very, very small things that could be improved on this piano. While it is 95% perfect, there are two things that could be a little bit better. One thing I find is that the, the treble up in this region is a little bit mellow voiced. And then up in here, it's nice and bright especially in that last half octave, but right in here it's voiced very mellow, and the only thing that is wrong with that is simply that the hammers are very soft. There are two approaches to making that brighter. The approach I would take is to simply, if I owned this piano and I wanted that section to be brighter, is I'd practice scales in this region multiple times a day until the bright, they, those hammers naturally got harder. It might take a little while, but after a while the hammers would get harder and it would naturally have a brighter sound. If you wanted instant gratification, you could put lacquer on the hammers, but that essentially, so many people say that that would destroy the hammers because that lacquer will never come out and they will always be bright. If the hammers get naturally brighter by playing, you can often bring them back to normalcy later on. There's other, another very small issue which I have actually mentioned to Steve Rivera and this will be fixed very soon. There are two keys right in this region that this one comes up slow, as you can see. Com compared to this one, that one snaps up and this one comes up slow, especially with the pedal down, which is why I have it down. And then this one here, actually will stick down. Now the reason I'm pointing this out is because this is a common issue you'll see with pianos and it might seem like a massive deal. This key, oh no, it's broken, it sticks down, whatever will I do? Well actually it's a pretty simple fix. There's, there's simply these bushings on the keys that 
there's a little slot in the key that fits over a rod on the inside of the piano. And that whole mechanism is called a bushing. And essentially what is wrong with that is that the bushing in the key is too tight. And it's too, there's too much friction on the rod, and so the key likes to be a little bit stiff. This can actually affect the dynamic range of these particular keys. This one here isn't quite as easy to make play loud as the one right next to it. So the reason I mention this is because it's actually a really easy fix, and there's really nothing wrong at all with the piano. It's just simple, basic maintenance. But I thought I'd point this out because it's a very common issue with pianos. I've seen it a lot before, and it's just something I thought I'd show you guys. Before I go, though, I want to play a little bit more on this piano because I love the tone of it. It's so beautiful. Really, really wonderful job on this piano. The rebuild work was excellent. The only issue that I have found is these two keys, and that's such a small thing. That's why I say this piano is 95% perfect. Fix these two keys, and you have a wonderful, beautiful Bosendorfer that will play excellently for many years to come. Another interesting feature about it I forgot to mention is it actually uses a full perimeter plate. I've seen this before on another rebuild from Meyer as well, um, and it has a full perimeter plate. So that means that the plate, the cast iron harp of the piano, which is, of course, this typical orange Bosendorfer color, you can see that it runs along the rim of the piano on this side, which you'll find in every piano practically ever made, but it also runs along the whole spine of the piano as well so it comes out over here. Normally on a piano, this whole area would be open, but here you have a cast iron harp. So that actually is helping keep the piano more stable, and it's going to make it last even longer than it would already. Pianos are very long-lived instruments, and with a full perimeter plate, they can last a very, very long time. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video of this Brusendorfer. I think it's probably around a 170 to 175, maybe a 185, not 100% sure on the size. The serial number is 26964, which is pretty low, so I do think this is this once was, well, is technically, but it is a very old Brusendorfer that has been brought to life by the wonderful, practically magicians over at Meyer. They make amazing rebuilds. Every single one of theirs that I found, I have absolutely loved. They do great work, and I can't wait to go visit them in Europe. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. Um, it's been a lot of fun visiting this Kim's uh, piano location in Tustin, California. Really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, you might want to go check out my channel. I've got lots of cool videos of pianos, keyboards, organs, digital pianos, and all kinds of other cool stuff. If any of that sounds cool, you definitely might want to subscribe. If you do subscribe, thanks very much. If you're in the Southern California area, drop into Kim's pianos. They're absolutely amazing, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.